think will ever know who killed Jacob Juma? Let me just explain. This is a very critical thing. Mm. Because surely uh, it seems like the issue of assassination is creeping back into Kenya to silence those of different political opinion or those that are releasing information that might make certain individuals culpable of uh, economic crimes. Now, thereafter, that explanation comes up. It doesn't make sense. Then, uh, or somebody is killed. You hear uh, certain criminals were gunned down. You are told a gun was recovered. Mm. And uh, the casings that we had found at the scene of crime tally with a gun. Mm. That should have been used in that murder. And then somehow, the media is manipulated and the people forget about you. Yeah, they just forget. Now, in the case of Jacob Juma, Jacob Juma had even named on 10th of uh, December uh, 2015 uh, a Tuesday where he said a meeting had been held and his assassination had been discussed. Jacob Juma happens to be somebody I've known for a very long time. Mm -hmm. So he could have been lying. So he couldn't have been lying. And he names an individual. Then, sure enough, he dies. Hmm. Is it true he had slapped that same individual at some point? Is it true there's a scene where he, he slapped him? You said that. I would not say what didn't happen. It did happen. So they had a history of some bad blood. And uh, a man dying from your community, live alone, knowing him. Normally, where we come from, the seriousness with which we take such a matter, hmm. Uh, it meant that I must lodge a claim. So I lodged a claim on behalf of the community for the death of Juma.